ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Is he like all the way down at the bottom or something? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Bukowski. Fuck that one. Alright, uh, let's okay. go. You have been programmed. We now interrupt your regular programming. Okay. Three, two, one. Dan, Mike, and their friends are chilling in the messy apartment, surrounded by smoke, pizza boxes, and various paraphernalia. They're passing around a bong and grooving to a Web3 music playlist blasting through the speakers. Man, this Web3 track is tripping me out. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like the future of music or some shit. Dan takes a deep hit from the bong and hands it to Mike. He stands up, right, wobbling got... slightly. All right, I got to take uh, a piss. I'll be right back. Dan heads towards the bathroom, but as he reaches for the door, a strange hum fills the room. Suddenly, Dan is yanked backwards, his body convulsing as if being sucked out through his throat. The room blurs and disappears. Dan appears on an alien craft, surrounded by tall, indistinct shadows. The atmosphere is eerie, with a low hum vibrating through the metallic walls. The shadows seem to whisper and move in unnatural ways. What? What the fuck is happening? Somebody help! One of the shadows steps forward, its presence imposing. It speaks, and its voice is terrifying, sending chills down Dan's spine. Not even Jack can hear you here. Now give us the call to the wallet. Dan feels his stomach drop, almost crapping his pants from fear. Suddenly, he's yanked back, curling through space and time. Dan stumbles out of the bathroom, looking around frantically. He sees himself walking back to the living room. And as he takes each step, he feels himself getting more grounded, re-entering his body. Yo, Dan, what the hell just happened, man? You look like you've seen a ghost. Mike, man, let me handle this. These guys, they're not friendly. Mike gives him a puzzled look as Dan turns and heads back to the bathroom with newfound determination. Dan braces himself, takes a deep breath and re-enters the bathroom. Instantly, he's abducted again, feeling the same disorienting thing. Dan is back on the alien craft with a steely resolve. The shadows surround him, but he stands firm. You guys want to fight? Well, I'm fucking ready. Suddenly, Dan starts to emit a visible, powerful energy. His electromagnetic field pulses brightly, and the aliens recoil in fear, their shadows retreating. Hey, what's going on with these? He's too powerful. Dan's energy intensifies, pushing the shadows back. Yeah, that's fucking right. I'm from the streets. I'll fucking die for this shit, homie. <laughs> <laughs> the aliens, overwhelmed by Dan's electromagnetic field, let him go. Dan feels a rush as he's pulled back. Dan crashes back into his body, stumbling slightly, but quickly regaining his composure. Mike and the friends look at him with wide eyes. Dude, what the fuck were you doing? Dude, don't worry about it. 
I just handled some shit. Let's get back to the music. Dan and Mike return to their friends, who are still grooving to the Web3 tracks. They all laugh. <laughs> the atmosphere returning to a more relaxed vibe. As Dan and Mike find themselves surrounded by the menacing shadows, a bright light fills the room. Suddenly a rift in space-time appears, and a figure emerges from it. Step away from my creations. Kowski extends his hand, emitting a powerful wave of energy that repels the alien shadows and clears a path for Dan and Mike. Bukowski? You're... And you have... Bukowski nods, his presence exuding calm and confidence as he shields Dan and Mike from the alien threat. Go return to your realm. I'll handle this. Bukowski stands alone facing the alien shadows with determination. As the shadows lunge forward, he manipulates the rift, creating a temporal distortion that disorients the aliens. You may be ancient, but you're no match for the power of creation. Bukowski's manipulation of the rift intensifies, creating a swirling vortex that engulfs the shadows and banishes them from the craft. With a final burst of energy, the rift closes, leaving Bukowski victorious. Dan and Mike are back in the safety of their living room, the memory of their encounter with Bukowski etched into their minds. I never knew Bukowski could be so powerful, man. Yeah, Bukowski saved our ass back there. As they settle back into their surroundings, Dan and Mike exchange a knowing glance. Their bond... <coughs> With Bukowski stronger than ever when they hear a knock on the door. <laughs> 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 <laughs>